So I've taken a look at Ubuntu GNOME 1604. Now it's been a long time since I last looked at Ubuntu GNOME. I'd say it's at least two or three years. So I was quite excited to see what progress has been made. And sure enough, yes, there's been loads of progress. And as I was beginning to use it, I'm thinking, wow, this is a fantastic operating system. I absolutely like it. It's a bit weird how they've got the buttons for some of the applications in the application title bar, but okay, I could get used to that. I could possibly get used to the activities layout as well. But then I started using the non-GTK3 applications and they look terrible. How can there still be this issue in GNOME? What I really don't understand is when you use GTK3 applications in the KDE Plasma desktop, they come out beautifully. They look exactly how the Plasma applications do. They respect the same theming. So why would you use a Plasma application in the GNOME desktop? Does it look terrible? There is no cohesion with the theme. It just kind of does its own thing. It's not just the Plasma applications. You've got things like Firefox, LibreOffice, the Crash Handler, which has appeared enough times so far. They look terrible. So Ubuntu GNOME 1604 does have long-term support status. It's supported for three years. They did unfortunately miss the deadline to get the GNOME 3.2 in there, so we do have an older version of GNOME 3.18. Funny that, isn't it? Um, Kubuntu's just sort of suffered a similar issue as well, isn't it, with the older version of Plasma 5? Oh well. So already I had a crash on this system. This time it was on Plymouth, so that's a new one on me. Report a problem, Ubuntu is ready. Oh yes, it is a devastating problem that Ubuntu is ready. What? So I've gone for a dark styling in the GNOME applications. That was quite easy to set in the GNOME tweak. I've also re-enabled the minimize and maximize buttons. So I'm quite impressed with how the GNOME applications look. Nice, beautiful, dark theme. And it was quite easy to set the theme here in the tweak tool. Global dark theme. Yes, that's what I wanted. I've got one of the new mix themes on here. Do you know what? I think the default theme looks pretty good. It's interesting here on the extensions that are quite a lot pre-installed on the system. I found an extension here for window lists so that creates a panel at the bottom of the screen for listing the applications that I have open. Yeah, that's quite nice. Very easy to do. I noticed there's no way of moving the panel around, so um, <clears throat> at this point I have to mention there that uh, GNOME is more rigid than Unity. Now I did find out about an add-on for moving the panels around, but it turns out it wasn't compatible with GNOME 3.18. In terms of installing new add-ons, well if I just go and select one, it's integrated with the browser, so you just slide that across to on, and it comes up with a box saying would you like to install it. Um, perhaps it doesn't on this one though. It certainly did on a couple of the others that I was messing around with. There you go, the option to install the extension. Brilliant! So the responsiveness on the searching was very good here. So it's finding applications instantly. What I did miss though is there's no grouping or minimal grouping. Now I know the grouping appeared some time ago, so you can just select, well, utilities in this case, and it displays them here. So if I click away, I go back to like the main menu. But it looks like the case of shove everything in front of the user. Yeah. I think the activity workspaces take a bit of getting used to. It's simple enough to open one of your favourite applications across into the activity. So there you are, tweak tool, drag, drop, open it. Alternatively, alternatively if I open an application, it's easy enough to drag and drop into another activity. Okay, fair enough. Let's come on to the issue I was talking about earlier with the theming. So the menus in LibreOffice have a border around them and are light coloured. Menus for the GTK3 applications are embedded up into the global menu <laughs> and are dark coloured. For the Plasma applications, that's a different font and a dark border around the menu. So lack of cohesion here on the theming. Yeah, definitely not impressed with that. As far as resizing the applications go, yeah, we've got the halves, but no quadrants. That could be easy to set. It's not like that by default, though. 
a couple of newer features, the GNOME Calendar. Yeah, it's nice enough. And the Rapid Software Center. So very easy to install the applications. See this bit where we've got the authentication required, looks beautiful. GTK3 application though. So the GNOME Software Center is responsive enough on finding applications although it doesn't find every application. For example, the Ubuntu Restricted Extras, no application found. Give it something like Chromium, yes, it does find it. So it's able to find applications, but not packages. I suppose you can always install Synaptic. Then you've got access to a GUI that can find packages. So looking a bit further at desktop on the top panel, it's got the shortcut to the calendar different style calendar than the calendar application. The workspace indicator, keyboard switcher, and a combined volume, network, and shutdown menu. Do you know, I like that menu. Why can't these things be combined? Why do we have to have separate menus? It does make it a bit simpler. And there's a global menu there for applications that have that feature. So there's some GNOME 3.2 applications, but the desktop itself is GNOME 3.18. So here's a difficult question now. Who would I recommend that to? People who like GNOME. For new users though, I just don't see it as being the best of the Ubuntu derivatives. Ubuntu Mate is a lot better. My biggest hang up with the operating system is how all the applications are rendering. Sure, the GTK3 applications coming out beautifully. The other applications though, no, they're not. And the other applications make up a big part of the operating system. And for me, I want some nice artistic cohesion. This is not providing it. I would not use Ubuntu GNOME myself. I was disappointed with the number of times it crashed. In three boot ups, it crashed three times. Great. Does that mean it's just going to crash every time I use the system? By that logic, it could. So, nope, don't want that. So that was a look at Ubuntu GNOME 16.04. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.